Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. It is a Saturday afternoon and I'm sitting here with my coffee and I feel like I've been watching a lot of friends lately because I'm loving the 90s glam. I love the matte look. I love the chocolate brown lip. So I really wanted to create this tutorial for you guys. Let's jump straight into the video. So this right here is my photo reference. It's I haven't really chosen the best photo because you can't really see it all that much but I just love that everything is just really matte but still fresh at the same time and then it has that really beautiful creamy brown lip as well so let's get straight into it before I do anything I just feel like a grinded coffee so I'm just gonna order one okay so my skin today is feeling really dry and dull so we're going to freshen it up. Firstly, I'm going to start by applying this little pot of Purify, which is, oh, is that, is that the name? It's a little pot of Purify? Little pot of micellar water. Okay, that sounds really cool. So I think this one is actually sold at Coles. Um, so I actually like to run over my face with a little bit of like micellar water or makeup remover. Sometimes just to like get any excess oils off, especially if I'm filming quite late in the day where I haven't just been straight out of the shower with a nice fresh cleansed face so i'm just gonna run that over oh that smells nice it smells really nice it's all gonna depend on if i rush up in about five seconds <laughs> that smells so nice i love the bottle that it comes in so convenient okay let's go ahead and apply some moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and apply the watermelon pink juice glow recipe moisturizer this one's a little bit more thinner in consistency beautifully smelling and then i'm going to pop some intense eye cream on by mariella skin um, i love this stuff it just smells so beautiful now while we let those moisturizers set into my skin i'm going to start by filling in my brows so i've lately been going in with the chocoholic by napoleon purtis this is just a brow pencil over a brow pomade which i'm kind of liking i'm going to start by replicating hair now that my hair is much darker and I have always had quite thick brows, I like them to be just a little bit more softly filled in, which is why I'm going a pencil over a pomade at the moment. I just don't want them to take too much away from my makeup look. So I like to really softly fill in brows. I feel like when I'm a little bit fairer with my hair color, I can go a little bit more stronger with the application on my brow. But at the moment, because my hair is much darker I do prefer something a little softer I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and we're gonna carve out those brows so I'm just taking my Giorgio Armani luminous silk concealer and I'm just taking it on a little fluffy brush by Zoeva and we're just gonna press that concealer over my eyelid Pressing the concealer over the eyelid is obviously going to make your makeup last so much longer. So please, 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 before you do any eyeshadow, make sure that you have done this step. It makes the biggest difference. And apart from that as well, you've got so many exposed veins coming through on your eyelid, hence the redness or hence the purpley kind of tones that you do get on your eyes and underneath them. The skin around the eyes is just so much more thinner. So... It's really important that you do have that really, really nice base ready for shadow. So the palette that we're going to use today is the Morphe 9T palette, which is um, super pretty. There's just like only nine colors in here, which I actually think is pretty perfect for someone that is just maybe not a makeup artist, but does still love the really nice brown tones. So we're just going to take a flat shader brush and press over with this vanilla -y kind of bony shade. Just really, really, really nice and softly. I don't like to put too much powder in this area here because I feel like sometimes it just makes it harder to build up that really nice consistency of pigment and color. I'm also taking uh, some new brushes for a spin. So going in with a fluffy brush, we're just going to pick up this shade right here and mix it in with this shade here. So we're going these two. Okay, so now that we have built up that really nice pigment in the socket line, that really nice brown shade, we're actually just going to take the caramel shade and the more chocolatey shade from the outside and we're going to press that over and we're going to start to achieve a really nice C shape on the end of the eye. So we're elongating the eye and we're adding that bit of depth as well. I'm just going to blend it off with a 225 Luxe Blender from Zoeva. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and apply this vanilla shade right here. 
what we're doing is we're actually building up a really nice pop of vanilla which is just going to give a lot more definition to the eye especially because we're going to do a strong wing now we're going to kind of tone all that down so i'm just going to go back in with my 233 from so now we need to tone that down and make it a little bit more blended so i'm just going to go ahead and apply the two caramel shades here with my 225 from zoeva and I'm going to press that shade in the center. So we're just going to get that really nice blended brown, warm, almost toffee shade. And we're just going to blend them off really nicely. And now it's important for me to just try and clean up this area here and make sure that there's no harsh lines. Okay, it's time for some liner. One thing about 90s Glam I find is that everything was kind of super matte. So whether it was a liquid liner or a pencil liner, it still appeared quite matte. So we're going to take the KVD Cake Pencil Matte Liner. And I'm just going to use a mini, yes, mini mirror for this. We're going to start to apply that. And you get that really nice defined line. So we're using this baby bullet brush and we're just soft blending it and now we're going to repeat the same process on this eye guys I'll be back in one second sorry guys I just went to go and get my coffee oh I just needed one so badly okay so we've kind of finished the top of the eye now as you guys can see we've got that really nice pop of like bony vanilla there's almost kind of like a mauvey caramelly shade coming through the socket and then we've got the chocolate brown on the outside so now i'm going to apply some lashes for my mascara i'm going to go ahead and apply the maybelline falsies lash lift for lashes today i'm just going to take the john lashes by bouquet beauty and now we're just going to let them dry for a couple of minutes now it's time to clean up underneath the eye so i'm just going to take a little bit of remover oh i was like where did i put the remover it's right now so you guys are probably wondering why I go ahead and apply eye cream and then obviously some of it comes off when I remove it. Really, Dad? I feel like if I don't do this step, it doesn't allow my skin to really absorb the moisture and it makes a huge difference in the way that my makeup looks. So I feel like even though I do apply it and then some of it obviously comes off, I don't really mind all that much because I am going to apply a little bit more eye primer anyway. Okay, guys, my camera stopped recording and I don't know when it actually stopped recording. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is with this or why this happens, but it does. But I did go in with the Peace Out Downness Brightening Pad and basically just went all over my face. Now, it's supposed to give you a little bit of a tingling um, sensation, which it definitely has, but it's not irritating my skin, surprisingly. I actually, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh no, I'm going to go all red raw, but I actually didn't. So I think I'm actually fine. I'm going to go straight ahead and apply my foundation. I feel like I've got quite a lot of formula on my face and I don't want to break up my foundation anymore. So for foundation today, we're going to take the Advanced Mineral by Napoleon Purtis. This actually used to be my favorite foundation when I worked there. I used to wear it to pretty much 99% of my shifts. Only on a Saturday, I would use um, my China Doll foundation because um, I used to obviously work all day and I would be like run off my feet and not have any time to touch up where during the week it was a lot quieter so um, I did have time to touch up because this one is a more light foundation. This foundation brush is the Tom Ford O2 brush. Now this foundation brush is giving me a little bit of a streak mark here so I'm just going to go ahead and press in with my beauty sponge. Can you guys just see how beautiful and natural this foundation is? I love it. Love love love. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. We're just going to take the product in this area here. Just brightening up that area by pressing it onto the skin. I feel like at the moment it's so on trend to be wearing like so much makeup, especially on your base. But I love that back then everything was like super naturally applied to the skin. Like you could definitely still see any kind of blemishes. Everything was really soft. I think I'm loving so much about Neutral Glam at the moment. I'm watching so much Friends and I'm seeing like Rachel, Phoebe and Monica just have like the softest foundation. But then their lipstick is like very much prominent and very much there. And that's what I'm loving. So now to set my foundation, I'm just going to take the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and I'm also going to take the Huda Beauty Cupcake because I love this one for underneath the eye. So I'm going to do this one first 
and I'm just going to dip in with my beauty sponge and bake this area here. Now I want to bake because I really want everything to be nice, smooth, looking almost airbrushed, but I have no problem looking ultra matte today. Guys, these actually aren't available to purchase, which is why I haven't named the brand. You guys won't be able to find them. So for my cheeks today, I'm going to go ahead and contour using the Ultimate Contour Palette by Napoleon Purtis. This one is in light. And I'm just going to take a cheek brush to apply this. Which I think maybe... I oh don't know, it's perfect. And now it's time for blush. So I'm just going to take the Hybrid Veil Blush from Napoleon Purtis. We're just going to take that on a cheek brush. It's very soft. Kind of hard to actually pick up product. I'm not sure I'm a massive fan of this one. I'm going to swap back to the Napoleon Purtis uh, Ultimate Coverage and pick up that middle blush. That's better. Perfect. So I'm actually going to skip out on the highlighter today and I'm just going to leave it matte, but I'm just going to finish off my under eye. So I'm just firstly going to go in with this flat shader brush. I'm just going to pick up this caramel shade right here. And stamp that underneath my eye. And then I'm going to take my tiny little bullet brush here and just pick up this shade here. And now to finish off the look, I'm just going to add a cream pencil by Raw Cosmetics. And we're going to go inside the eye and really brighten it up. So we're going to take this through my waterline. Just be mindful with this that so you don't get too much on your lashes because it can look very scary in photos. I'm just going to take that into the inner corner and really nicely brighten that up. And then I'm going to take the smallest amount on a disposable mascara wand just so I can get right in there without making a mess. And apply. apply that mascara. Guys, I am loving this look so far. I can't wait to do my lips, but my coffee is still like full. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply the KKW Beauty 2.5 lip liner. I love that that brown mauvey lip was so on trend in the 90s. I love that. And that's what I've been looking forward to with this glam. Because that liner is so creamy, I'm actually just going to kind of fill in all of my lip with it. And then we're going to go in with the Morphe Matte Tempt Lipstick. And take that over. Now we're going to take the Veil Hourglass Setting Spray. Okay, that is the end of the final look and it looks so much better than I thought it was going to look on me. <laughs> I actually really love this. These lashes, okay, beauty come through. I love them. I love the brown lip and I actually love how everything kind of came together. The colors are just complementing the lip so much. That is the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this 90s glam. I really, really love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this look and I will see you guys in my next video.